face, I embrace debate. I don't make mistakes, I just make my case. Drop spike when I'm done, one more can. I say not bite to my tongue, I don't like the taste. I'm on in the morning, I own my opponent. I'm always in the zone, need a zone, out of zone. And then we can get it poppin', pick the topic if you watch it. Skip it, shine it, skip it, hop it. Took these sports and made them pop it. All right, undisputed. Joining us now is a Grammy winner who performed our theme song, No Mercy, which you just heard. Lil Wayne is here. Welcome. Thank Hi. you so much for joining us. It is so good to uh, see you. Uh, and good job, baby. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Allow hey, me great to song. Yeah, hey, up front, we are so honored you did No Mercy for us. I get it in my head. It sticks in my head all afternoon after the show. Yes. No Mercy. It captures the spirit of exactly what this show is about. And... I think it's going to be a hit. I don't know anything I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a very big part of the show. We, we see you every morning when we come in here. So tell us a little bit about No Mercy, your creative process, and how did it come about? Uh, it was simple. I just got a text saying, listen, they want you to do the theme song for Skips in the show. I was like, what? I was like, they do, they do understand that I don't, any song I do is not going to be a theme song. It's going to be a song. Mm. And so it was like, I know the way you're going to approach it, so just do it and see what happens, and this is what happened. Wow. We were talking off camera, and I asked, you know, did you freestyle this? And you said, and I asked, did you write it down? And you're like, no, I don't write anything down. So anything you sing, you just go into the studio, get in front of a mic and go. Yeah, um, it's, a, it's, it's two different type of musicians. There's the one that was born to be a musician, and there's the other the artists, the right. creative people that know how to learn how to create. Right. Those are the people that usually write things down. This comes from me. Mm -hmm. This is who I am. This is what I am. I don't have to write it down. You write it down. You take a picture. Wow. So this came quickly and easily for you? Yeah, very. They had to tell me when to stop. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a joke. <laughs> so speaking of stopping and speaking of no mercy, mm -hmm. about 10 days ago, I had a Lord have mercy moment when I saw your tweets that you are retiring, would you please tell me this is not true? This is, this is, this was a tweet off of an argument. Mm. This is a tweet after an argument. And by the way, I saw it was like 3.40 a.m. Yeah, that about a, right? yeah, I'm a Libra. We're known to, uh, we're cliche known to not have real emotions. We don't only zodiac sign without a heart or a soul. Only sign, that's just a symbol. So since it's a scale, we have to let something get all the way down there for it to tip over to for us to boil out. So I was at my tipping point. Okay, That's because all. of what? An argument. Over? Over what's going on. Yeah, that's, that's what it. everybody wants to know. Because a lot of people think the it's manufactured yeah. between you and baby. Yeah. Birdman. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This is the real deal. Yeah, this is business. That's business. Once business is involved in... I have a family, I have kids, right. I have a mother, we got bills. This right. is business, so once the business is right, then everything is right. So I, I did feel that way, and um, I didn't take the tweet down because I said I still feel that way. And until something is done about it, then maybe that, I'll that you feel mentally defeated, you Man, said in the yes, first tweet, and that yes. you're not looking for sympathy, but just At serenity. All. At all, I am too blessed. So can yeah. you see yourself working with him again? If he, if he, if he, as we say, if we make the money right, can you work with him again? No, sir. So you looking for your payday and you moving on? Yes, sir. Mm. And is that, that's all this is about? There's no, nothing beyond that? Nothing beyond that. Give me mine and I'll walk off free, okay. smiling. How did it make you feel that so many of the, the top rappers rushed to your defense and your support? <laughs> Drake, Kendrick Lamar. It really was. I mean, I love my artists, like Drake and all of my artists. I, I'm that that's expected. Those are my brothers. They're gonna do that. They they don't have to. They not. They, don't, they didn't do it just publicly. Of course, they called me right after they saw that tweet. But the artists that I don't know, and that tweeted and came out like that, and Kendrick Lamar's and mm -hmm. people like that. Do you not? Man, what? Do you not have a close relationship? Just we just don't. We don't. I don't know him like that. Okay. He has. A, okay. He has my number. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. But. For people to do, not only him, it was other people. It was Young Thug. It was other people that just, you know, I was like, well, I didn't know. Let me ask you it about mattered. Let me ask you about the artwork. I mean, you like you from from top to bottom. All, yeah. what went into this? Um, I know they, they say it's addictive, but what went into getting all of this? 
I'm a Libra. It's a Libra thing, bro. You once we get into something, right. we gotta you get, can get all, all the way to it, get all the way to it. And I like to do whatever I do, I actually do it. So you know, I, if it's reading, I don't read. I'm gonna do reading. He right. reads now. He does reading. If I got, I wasn't just going to get a tattoo. That was a hot. That became a hobby. Yo, I'm getting tattoos. <laughs> so let me ask you a question: Of all the tattoos you've you've got, which one hurt the most? Um, it's gonna be funny. eyelids. It's my hand. Pa really? Palm yeah. of your hand. Let me tell you why. The palm of your hand is the most sensitive area because that's what we need to feel. Yeah. That's, and so also because it's the palm of your hand, they can't just tat it like regularly. Right. Because it will, it's gonna fade away because right. the, the ink doesn't stay. So they literally have to go line, dot by dot zzz, until it's in it, dot by dot. So one letter takes about an hour and a half. Did did the eyelids hurt at all? Not at all. It's too fast. As soon as you're ready to start thinking it hurt, it's over. Do you have? Uh, no, I don't. Not I don't one. Either. Not no piercings either. Off 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 camera, I give you a, a tip though. <laughs> <laughs> It better be to the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> so since that moment of being mentally defeated, have you felt like creating? Because I've been with you on your bus and you just can't stop. You you just you just keep it just flows out thing, of you. That's another thing, Skip. I could say it, I could tweet it, I could go to church about it. Y'all, everybody already know I got a I got a, I have to go, so I have, to have another verse to do the next day. That's if correct. that was at three forty, I probably was at the studio at six a.m. I probably okay. yeah. So you that doesn't can't stop. Stop I can't. that. Yeah. Right. Too many. Yeah. Do, do you feel like you have a lot more inside there to share with the world going forward? Different levels and layers. Oh, in reality, the the the, the height of my um, talent or the height of my career or whatever, I haven't reached that at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you've worked with a lot of people. Wh who is the one person or persons that you haven't worked with that you'd like to do, like to work with? Michael Jackson, Prince. Um, those, are, those are the most important. Mm. Well, you're not going to be able to work with those guys, <laughs> so you got to give, give me somebody that's yeah. current that's, that you can actually go in the studio with. That's why there isn't a, I work with everyone. Mm. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. How has your field changed even in the last couple of years, the hip-hop industry or, or the creativity level of hip-hop? Where the, is it going? The new world. It's just the new world. It changed right with the new world. It's sports changed, the world politics, the way we protest, everything changed. Just changed with the world. How? Uh, social media, things like that. that was, I was thinking today. I was thinking how back then there was a commercial with Bo Jackson. He's doing a tech mobile thing. He says, I'm gonna do this to rock. And he puts on a rock song. And I was like, I wonder what if he was like back, I was like that back in the days he probably would say, I'm gonna do this to rock or they had the artist that sang that song. It's like I remember there was a thing called remixes and I was the king of that. And I was like, it'd have been real cool if in the back seat I would have had on the referee jersey in the curb and I'd been like this. I'm like, what are you doing? Remix, baby, you know, and things like we that's dead these days mm -hmm. because of social media. There's no such thing as a remix because your song is going to get remixed and the world is going to be able to hear everybody's version of it because of social media. Back then, if you made a remix, you don't only hear that person's remix when that person releases it and things like that. Things of that nature. A feature is almost evident now. A feature, your, your everybody's hit song has a feature. Mm -hmm. I'm still of the era where Lil Wayne's song is, free, is only Lil Wayne's song. I'm on the hook, the beginning, the end of it, all of that. So I'm just from a different part of the music. And because I keep it up, that's why the new artists, that's what the new music era, they attract to it because they know that's something from the real music. Not that what they're doing isn't real, but just something from back then that still shines. And we love to keep it going. Wow.